All right, guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And today we're gonna be talking about the Facebook Ads API. So in the last video, if you have seen in that video, I have shown you like how we can pull the inside data and giving you a little brief about the insights API and campaign API, campaign ad sets and ads into the campaign manager table of the Facebook. Like in the Facebook ad manager side, giving you a little brief on that. But in today's video, we are actually gonna be looking into into the APIs and pulling the ad accounts from the Facebook and looking for the insights of the Facebook so all the details we and also we're gonna be discussing about the parameters fields how we gonna put into that so those things we're gonna be looking into this video so let's get started so if you see over here uh, so there are four options one is the dogs tools support and my apps so for support uh, you already know like for what like if you have any issue you can you have there's a community community and uh, like platform so you can raise your issues or ask into the community like what issue you are facing while pulling the data through the apis okay and there is a tool so there are a few tools like which will give you the access to pull the details from the facebook side and and look at that like how it works we're going to be looking at this uh, graph api explorer into this one so let's open this so this is the like uh, platform where you can like uh, pull the details so if i submit it my details is coming over here so my id my user id and my name is coming so user id is nothing else like which id comes into like when you open your profile into the facebook so it will give you one id over here into the url so that is the same id over here and this is my name okay so let's see how the page look like for the apps so you see this these are the all apps loading over here for me and uh, want to create a new new app so you can create it over here like this way and you can just assign all the specification whatever you want like for what purpose you want to create this app and you can add it over here and then you can create it so I already have the app over here so I'm not gonna be creating new one so you see this one so this is this one I'm gonna be using it for like uh, doing the authentication and pulling the details from the Facebook site okay so let's go into this one and I'll show you a little bit more into this one. So if you see, this is how it looks like. So if you like want to add some apps inside this, uh, like into this app, add some more feature into this one. So you can do it like you want to do the WhatsApp login. Like if you want to have the access of WhatsApp or you want to have the access of Facebook login for business. So these kind of things, like these are the small features which you can add into this one. So I have already used for the marketing API, which I'm going to be looking for because Marketing API provides you the access of ad accounts, ad set and campaigns. So that's we're going to be using it. And apart from that, like login is going to be automatically working on. OK, so let's go into the required actions. So into this one, there's nothing to be discussed, but there's one thing like basic and advanced action into the settings. So in the basic, you will see the app ID and app seed so this is you can use it for making the authentication so before uh, like inst initializing the application you need to provide the app ID and app secret for opening that OAuth pop-up to get the permissions okay and also into the advanced access you have to define the URLs like callback URLs and your app domain for like from where you are calling this uh, Facebook application so you see I have defined it local host 8000 so this is which I, I was trying on local because it is a develop, developer account not the like live one okay so these are the main features you can look at into it later like these are other things like which if you want to put your app into the review so you can use this one apart from that like this is the marketing API into this one you can also do the some settings which features you want to enable it or disable it so that you can look into this one and we're gonna be looking into the graph explorer so we don't need to generate the token exactly just you need to go over here switch to the app so I'm just switching it to my personal app okay and I'm not go I'm gonna be creating new access token so you see just reconnect got it and it has been generated one new token for me and I'm gonna be clicking it so my details are coming let's go into the ad accounts part so if we go into the developer.facebook.com and documentation so just search over here ad accounts okay so if you can see my screen so this is how the structure comes into the response for the ad accounts okay so this is showing over here like business ad accounts so this is 
like this is for business id but same we can pull it for like uh, my ad accounts so you can pull it via business id like if you have running any business or directly you can go into the user ad accounts or you can do me slash ad accounts and it's gonna be pulling all the ad accounts for you so let's go into the graph explorer and i'm just going to put it over here me slash ad accounts ad accounts and field gonna be id name and let's submit it okay so you see my all the ad accounts are coming which exist into my like which are assigned to my profile uh like my facebook profile so you the, you see these three ad accounts are assigned to me right now and these three all like all are coming so let's suppose if i want to pull the campaigns related to one ad account so what i will do i just click on it okay so this is the ad account related id so let's suppose i want to pull all the campaigns related to it so campaigns and submit so you see all these are the campaigns which exist inside this one ad account okay so these are some next page data is also coming so in one list you will see only 20 data because the limit default limits is 20 and after that if you want to pull more data so you need to do this next call so there's a api is all, all, all already given so you can just click on it so you will be able to pull the next details okay so if i click on it so you see the next details are coming over here so you see it has sent the after token into this api and the limit of 25 and the, all the details are coming for the next so that's that's how this API gonna be using and if you want to copy the code for so you can copy it from here so you see the javascript sdk is given so you this is how you can pull the details otherwise you can just use the curl command and you just need to pass it into this get request like this way this is the main endpoint like origin endpoint and after that you just need to put the ad account id and then campaigns and just put like this way uh, some query params uh, after limit and access token also you need to provide into this one so you see this access token is going into the uh, this endpoint okay so access token so these things are mandatory make sure access token is must if you don't want to put these other details into the query so don't do it but access token is passed so you need to send the access token into the query then you will be able to pull other details okay so this is how the details is coming so if you want if i want pull, if i want to pull the ad set details so say i have to do it ad sets and submit so you see all the ad sets details are coming and let me just put the fields over here and fields fields equals to name ID and all the name will be coming also. so you see all the names are coming for that set okay so this is how api works and also if you want to pull the insights of this so what you have to do is put the insights insights like the, your tracking data like conversion data comes into that like how many clicks have been done impressions are coming on your ad or how many product product purchase has been done so all those details comes into the insights okay so insight is a different api into the facebook uh, and you have to pull it separately okay so this is field name id doesn't gonna be coming into that one so you have to pull it ad set name also you can pull if you are pulling it for ad set so you can pull the campaign name as well like which campaign it is connected to uh, impressions oh sorry impressions in impressions and let's see we are receiving so you see the data is empty because you have to provide the time range as well because without time range it won't be able to pull any data so let's try with one thing because there's one more thing date preset so i'm going to be giving it maximum and let's see it's throwing the data to me or not okay so it throws the data okay so this is the ad account inside so for this ad account i'm getting the maximum data like to last in the maximum it provides the last 37 month data so this is the 30 last 37 month data is coming so you see 2022 uh, like year 2020 june to year uh, 2023 july okay so this is the last 37 month data is coming and impressions are 7 lakh 50 7 lakh 54434 so this is the number of impressions and if you want to put some more details over here so let's suppose i want to pull the clicks so you see the clicks are also coming if i want to put reach 
how many people reach to this product pro like add so you see this is the reach of your product so this is the impressions how many people click on your like click click on your ad and how many people exactly reached on your ad so 2 lakh 28000 uh, 867 so th these are the people who reach on your and these are the clicks has been done okay 20 20000 for 336 like on your product purchase into your uh, ad okay so uh, same kind of thing like if you want to pull the ROS so you can just put over here website ROS and let's see if there's something coming so there's nothing there's nothing like website ROS so if you want to put if you like to put purchase ROS I think the parameter would be different so there's no purchase ROS so that's why the detail is not coming for that uh, like this field okay so you will receive only those field which exactly have the data to the facebook and if you are putting the extra field into the query so you won't be receiving the data if their data doesn't exist related to those fields okay so that's also going to be available and you can look out for these fields because i have already defined all these things into the last video like where you can find all these insights related field so it's already exist over here if you see into this one you can just go into the insights okay and marketing insights over here the first page and over here if you see there would be some pair field option so you see this is the field option okay over here and you can just pull all the details so you see these are the fields which you can pull it from the um, facebook okay so there are so many things like so many parameters you can pass it to the uh, query and those things and this is the insight api where it will define you how you can pull the campaign related ad set related insights and ads so this is this uh, okay so this one currently this one this one is coming only ad account level okay this ad account level because you haven't perceived defined any level over here so we have to define the level so firstly for level i want to pull it on the campaign level okay so campaign so campaigns and the level should be campaign only not the campaigns or oh, delivery ad political ad something something param level must be one off okay what did i do the wrong thing over here delivery ad political ad set campaign ad set ad account so level should be let me just put the campaign okay i did i misspelled this campaign okay it should be like this one. and now you see all the campaigns i'm receiving for the maximum date preset okay same i can put it ad set over here ad set and submit so you can see all the ads that i'm receiving with the campaign name ad set name and if i want to put ad only okay submit ad and you can see all the ads i'm receiving so these are the actual ads which i'm receiving over here from this ad account id okay same you if you want to if you want to pull the different ad into the different ad account so you just need to change the ad account id over here and leave it everything as it is and you will be able to see other ad account ads which running into this that one okay and this is how like your user token gonna be generated from here so this is the graph api explorer of the facebook side so which gives you everything set and up you just need to generate your access token select your app from here and just put the api details and get the details okay and also you can just uh, you you can select the version of the apis which version you know so now the version 17 has been arised but i'm using 16 because it's not deprecated yet so you can use it and you can also get the code from here if you want to so let's you see the there are different different type of uh like different different sdk are defined javascript uh, ios and android but there is a node sdk as well like node.js as well so you can just if you want to pull it like if you want to include this app into the node.js so you can use it easily just go over there there's a node.js business sdk for the facebook insights api so you can use that one for pulling the facebook details okay so that's it like that's it from this one and i didn't see any issue on the pulling data from the facebook side because i did research a lot when i was started working on this one but now it seems very easy and useful like 
it's not difficult to pull any details from here and if you are having any kind of issue any query like if any fields is not coming which you want to pull it from the facebook inside or facebook campaigns etc etc like individually so you can just comment down and let me know i will help you out related to this facebook ad manager apis okay thank you so much guys thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video